Hello again, this is uh, Pastor Greg with Encouraging Words from the Coast. And today I just want to share with you that one of the things that I've found encouraging during these days of quarantine and, and really of the days dragging out and, and wanting it to be over is going to the Psalms. Because you, you read the Psalms and David, he just captures the, the widest expression of emotions that we human beings experience. And so I love reading the Psalms because it encourages me. It lets me know that I'm not the only one who's ever struggled with staying out of the pit and keeping my spirits up. So I did want to read you one in particular for today's devotion. It's from Psalm 30. It says this, I will exalt you, O Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. O Lord, my God, I called you for help and you healed me. O oh Lord, you brought me up from the grave. You spared me from going down into the pit. Sing to the Lord, you saints of his. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. I love that particular phrase of Psalm 30 because it tells us that sorrow isn't forever. Isn't forever. Um, being down doesn't last forever, but eventually God lifts us up. And it continues on with six, verse 6. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. O Lord, when you favored me, you made my mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What gain is there in my destruction, in my going down into the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my help. You turn my wailing into dan dancing. You remove my sackcloth and clothe me with joy, that my heart may sing to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. I hope that was an encouragement to you, and I hope that you will turn to the Psalms and read through it and read through them and make them your own personal prayer. I would just pick one psalm a day and uh, read it and then, and then use it as a prayer to the Lord. And then remember to take the promises of the psalm to be an encouragement to you as you live your life day to day and, and struggle just like the rest of us do with this, this lockdown. And, and uh, we are praying and hoping for open days ahead where we can worship together once again. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll be praying for you. You can email me if you have any concerns or just want someone to pray for you. I'd be glad to do that. Have a wonderful evening.